Hey Cougars, it is Mr. Franklin here with Business 110. And today what I'd like to do is basically go through the lecture for yesterday that we missed because I was out. And we will talk about the presentation that I gave you yesterday, as well as the business plan assignment that will be coming up in the future. So that is what we're going to be doing. So be ready to take notes. Feel free to pause the video if you need to rewind all that good stuff. You should be pros at this by now. So here we go. On Tuesday, we were talking about different types of businesses, sole proprietorship, partnership, different types of corporations, C Corp, S Corp. Um, and we mentioned LLC, but we really didn't, we ran out of time and didn't have a chance to talk about it. So LLC stands for Limited Liability Corporation. So one of the nice things about it is in the title, um, it offers you some protection for liability and what you're responsible for, but like an S corp. So it's like an S corp in the way it's uh, put together, but it doesn't have all the eligibility requirements like an S corp. You have to have, um, less than hundred investors and, and there's limitations on who those people can be, all that good stuff. Um, the very peculiar thing we mentioned is all 50 states have a version of LLC. It is recognized by the federal government as a partnership and not an LLC, but each state has its own version of it. So if you're here in California, you got to make sure that you're following the law for California. But if you go to a different state, you have to make sure that you're following the laws in that state for an LLC. A good way to think of an LLC is this like a sole proprietorship slash partnership in the way that a lot of it works as far as the benefits, but it does offer some of the protections of a corporation. So limited liability. In other words, you can keep your personal assets separate from the assets of the business. So if something, for example, if your business was to go bankrupt, they will only come after the assets of the business and not your personal assets. Choice of taxation, you can actually choose to be taxed like a partnership. So remember, a partnership is taxed as personal income versus a corporation where you're, the corporation is taxed separate from income, but you will double dip on the taxes. So your business will pay taxes, the business pays you money, and then you pay money on that or pay taxes on that. But there's benefits to both. And it dep really depends on the, the size of your and scope of your business and how much money you're actually making, all that kind of good stuff. But you get to you get to choose. And if you're in that boat, you should definitely be consulting a lawyer and making sure you know which one is best for you. There are flexible ownership rules as to who actually constitutes an owner. Um, partly what this means is like with an S Corp, um, it had to be individual persons. But with an LLC, corporations can actually own the LLC. So this was more of the movie uh, business thing I was talking about where the big company might actually own several smaller companies, but each company is created as its own LLC to, to run as the business, but yet it's actually owned by the bigger corporation. And that's because each corporation is its own entity and they do that to separate this businesses. So for example, a movie. So for example, we talked about Alcon. So they made Blade Runner and then they made this. Well, an Alcon might be a special case, a little bit different, but by making the Blade Runner its own business, that's potentially in theory, separate from the actual main company if something goes wrong with the assets here, it actually protects the rest of the assets, at least in theory, especially when we start talking about legal matters and things like that. So if that movie gets sued because there was a breach of copyright or something like that, well, the company can still do business with its other assets, even though this one particular asset is locked down. So VidAngel is actually in this boat right now. If you've ever heard of VidAngel, it's kind of a, it started as a um, like a Netflix, but it allowed you to do filtering of um, content for language, for con for adult themes, that kind of a thing. And they're actually going through a lot of legal process battles with companies like Disney and stuff like that. And 
but they still have their dry bar. So it's all under VidAngel. And I mean, there's a lot more to go into that, but by making parts of it a separate business, you can actually protect other parts of it from the parts of the business that are maybe having some problems. With an LLC, there's flexible distribution of profits and losses. Um, the important thing with what this means is basically um, in a normal corporation, you get profit based on how much of the company you own. Okay, so if you own 10% of the company and the company makes money, well, you get 10% of the profit. That's a normal corporation. My daughter's in the background. So, okay, so flexible distribution of profits and losses. What that means is in a normal corporation, if you own stock, if you own 10% of the corporation, you get 10% of the profit, or you also have to deal with 10% of the loss. Um, so if the company made $1,000 in profit, they're gonna pay you 10% of that. Okay. In an LLC, you, have, you basically can establish what that percentage is up front. So you can say um, the main, you know, like this owner is actually gonna get 50% of the profit and this other person that's an owner in the company will get 30% and then this person will get the rest of it. So you can establish that up front. So you can decide who's gonna be carrying the profit, but also the loss, um, which allows for a lot of flexibility, especially if we think in terms of key resources, if one person is bringing the, the, like the main product, but then they're bringing in some partners that can help do different pieces, but maybe it's not as key. So an example might be George Lucas, who, owned, who has the idea for Star Wars. Um, he should, I mean, we could argue, but he should get more of, of the profit because he has the main idea, the big idea that's driving the company, okay? So if, if it was formed under an LLC, they could set that in writing ahead of time. The problem is, you don't always know how the business is going to do until you're actually doing the business, especially a creative one. Um, the other thing is it allows for operating flexibility. You can, um, there's lots of things you can do with how the company has to operate. On Tuesday, we went through the list of having a, um, a board of directors and then the management and then, you know, employees and that vertical structure. So LLCs are more conducive to more of a horizontal structure and other types of running management systems for running a business. So some disadvantages, there is no stock. So you, with stock, you can just, as you know, you've been playing the stock market game, you can buy and sell and trade, okay? Um, so it's non-transferable. So if I'm the owner of an LLC, I can't just sell it to somebody because I feel like it, okay? So you have to have consent of the other owners of the LLC to transfer. So on one hand, that's actually great because it protects the business from, um, in a sense, outsider takeover and some of that without some um, negotiation and all that kind of good stuff. However, the big limit is without stock, I can't just get investors to come and be part of the business and give me money so I can grow my business, okay? Um, fewer incentives, there are not, um, there's not really a tax break specific to this category. Um, the other part of taxes that an LLC has to deal with is making sure they're paying all the self-employment taxes like Social Security, Medicare, all those kinds of things, um, which can often be overlooked when you're doing an LLC. And then there is quite a bit of paperwork involved in the LLC. But honestly, for a lot of the benefits, I would argue the paperwork could be quite worth it. Um, but on the flip side, things are written down in a way that you gotta go with what, what's written down. All righty, so that's really, really bare bones. Uh, just an insight into LLC. Hopefully maybe as we go forward, we'll get to talk some more about different examples of LLCs and different things like that. Um, the most important thing with these is you can go to the state. Um, you can, um, 
state small business administration website, all that kind of stuff. And you can get more information on these things. So things that I'm not going to talk about that I'm just going to reemphasize that are in the textbook for you to read about is franchises and how franchising works and what a cooperative is and how those work as a type of business uh, financing. 